Hey guys, it's James. Welcome back to what was formerly the Hoarder House. So we just sold this property for $2.42 million, which was $750,000 more than anticipated. So as you remember, this place was a pile of garbage. The garage was overflowing. It was stacked up uh, to the ceiling with garbage. The siding was rotting and falling off. The roof was leaking throughout the house. So all these systems got replaced in the renovation. We resited the house, put all new garage doors on. We replaced all the windows with black windows to give it that farmhouse look. And lastly, for first impressions, we spent about $5,000 on the front door to make it where people fell in love as soon as they got on the front steps. So guys, let's go take a look inside and see how we transform this giant piece of garbage into a two and a half million dollar property. As you can see, it's much better and it also smells much better. Uh, so, because of the price point that we were trying to achieve and the quality we wanted to kind of go for, we installed all custom wood box cabinets, solid quartz countertops, and upgraded appliances. Everything got done in this property from the electrical, the plumbing, all the way down to studs. We essentially recreated a brand new house inside the walls of an old home. So as we rebuilt the house, we had to reframe it to where prior before it was a three bedroom, one bath on the main floor. We actually shifted the kitchen over and installed this new bathroom to this section. Uh, it was very important to get the value of the home to add that additional bathroom. If we wouldn't have done that, the value could have been about $400,000 less than we would have actually sold it for. So because the floor plan was a little bit weird, we had to reframe this whole section. We added a new bedroom in here and a new bedroom in here. And then we, re we created our own master in-suite before. So as we re-enter the basement, I'm having flashbacks of how weird this property was when we bought it. The, the upstairs and the garage were overflowing with things, but then the real stuff happened in the basement. Prior to us ripping out everything and installing this mother-in-law, they had features of bird cages. When you came down the stairs, it was all caged off. This undercover deck was a giant cell. I still don't know why it was those things, but it was. So all those things needed to be tore out. We removed almost $35,000 in garbage from the property and this basement. We took it down to studs and then we created this great room feel with a separate wet bar to help put people with affordability down the road or a way to subsidize out their mortgage. All the old datedness was taken out. Old brick fireplace was turned into a custom tile place surround. And then prior to, the floor plan was really weird before. It was only two bedrooms and one bath prior. And so what we had to do is reframe this whole section. We added another bedroom in here. We put in a designer bathroom in this section and we got two more bedrooms through this area. And then one thing that we had that was really bad for flow was we had no entrance from our garage into our house. That's not good for a higher end, higher resale product. So we actually had to demo this out and reframe stairs into this section off the garage to get the flow into a formal mudroom. So not only did we have a massive project on the inside, the outside wasn't much better. So again, going back, what we had when you came out your slider doors is we had these bird cages and then there was a hot tub inside the birdcage room underneath this deck, which I still don't understand why they had that that way. I actually don't want to know, but all that needed to be demoed out. We installed a nice patio, which was undercover. So now people have good indoor outdoor flow, and especially in the Pacific Northwest where it's cold um, and they want to be able to have a little bit of coverage. Um, so we leveled out all the sticker bushes. We removed everything out of here. We had, we spent about 30 to $40,000 on our landscaping, getting this to where we can get that optimal price. Um, this was all overgrown and then we had a hill coming down bef before and the leveling was all out of whack, which made it not usable. So we installed these retaining walls and then we wanted to overemphasize this setting so people can have that backyard experience where they can envision as they're walking through our home to possibly buy it, that they can envision where they're going to hang out with their friends and, and, and actually kind of create memories. So little things like building a fire pit can you know, it doesn't cost very much, but it can get you a big back end because the more someone falls in love with this property, the more they want to pay you. So this whole setup cost us about $4,000, but it helped us achieve that 30% gain than we originally thought. So thanks for watching our massive transformation of our hoarder house. If you want to see all the before footage and the, and the random little things we found at the property, check out our YouTube channel, Project RE, and look for the hoarder videos. And don't worry, we'll be documenting more houses just like this because we're constantly buying them.